Good Monday to you. As we begin this week together, I would like to share something from the scriptures in the life of Jesus that I, I think impacts us in such a way that we need to learn and relearn almost every week. The aspects of being silent and offering no response is better than giving a verbal response and is much more powerfully understood than if we offer any word of defense. In the 15th chapter of the Gospel of Mark, we find this story. Very early in the morning, the chief priests with the elders and the teachers of the law and the whole Sanhedrin reached a decision. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Are you king of the Jews? Pilate asked him. And then Jesus says, now in the different translations you have, if thou sayest, from the King James translation, from the TEV and the NIV basically is, yes, it is as you say, Jesus responds. But literally in the Greek, Jesus speaks very little here. He really says, literally, if thou sayest. <coughs> Listen, excuse me. He says, are you king of the Jews? Pilate asked him, and Jesus said, if you say so, for you. That's what he was meaning. I can't be king of the Jews for anyone but you personally. I cannot be king of the Jews for Terry Sharp unless Terry Sharp makes him king of the Jews. The Messiah, the king of kings. What Jesus was really telling Pilate is, I don't, I'm not going to repeat what other people have said about me. I want to know what do you think of me? Am I king of the Jews for you? Am I God's son? Am I the Messiah for you? And then he look in verse 3. Then he responds, the chief priest accused of many things. So again, Pilate asked him again to confirm what he had heard. Are you going to answer? See how many things and how many of them are accusing you? and accusing you of the number of people accusing you and what they're accusing you of. But then in verse 5, but Jesus still made no reply. And Pilate was amazed. Do you know why he was amazed? Because in that moment, it looked as if that the life of Jesus was in his hands and that Jesus should be intimidated and begging for his life. But Jesus was in control. Jesus knew who he was and whose he was and to whom he belonged. He made no response. The only thing he responded to Pilate was, I can be king of the Jews if you make me king of the Jews for you. Who do you say that I am? I'm not going to tell you what other people have said about me. Who am I to you? Folks, let me tell you, that's a good question today for us as we begin this week. Who is Jesus to us? Do we live as if he is the king of our lives, the king of kings? Let's make him that. Let's take the crown and place it upon his head. Father, thank you for this Monday as we begin it with you. We walk in it with you. We listen to your presence. Take our hands Take our thoughts, take our lives, for we ask this in your name, because we make you our king today. Amen. Jesus gave very little response. He didn't feel like he had to defend himself because he knew who he was. Sometimes I think we make much ado about nothing. We don't need to defend anything when we are really in the hands of God. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Thank mm -hmm. you.